So let us discuss an example of Bayesian method when my parameter is a continuous random variable. And let us discuss this using an civil engineering example. And this example is related to reinforced concrete pile. So pile is often used in the foundation of buildings, of bridges or any other civil engineering structures. So during the construction process, very often we find defects inside these piles and there can be many reasons for such defects. So reinforced concrete piles for a building foundation could be subjected to defects resulting from poor construction quality. So some of the common defects would include insufficient bonding. So there is very less bonding between this reinforcing concrete uh, steel and there is a concrete element. So this is the iron rod and this is the concrete. So there is very less bonding. So there is insufficient bonding between paste of concrete and the steel wire inadequate length sometimes this is not very deep inside the foundation so inadequate length is also reason for a defective pile crack and voids in the concrete this is very common so whenever we have not a proper curing or some another defects so there are cracks gets initiated or voids remain inside the concrete resulting into a defective pile so this example says, let us consider a proportion of defective pile P at the site of concerns. So we have to consider proportion of defective pile and denoted by P. So let us assume that the property P is a continuous random variable. So continuous random variable. So my P that is the probability is a continuous random variable. So if I have a continuous random variable, first thing is we have to assign a prior. So we need to find what is the domain knowledge about the P that is available. If nothing is available, no information is available. In that case, we can assume this is a uniformly distributed. So this means if there is no factual information on P, a uniform prior distribution may be assumed known as diffuse prior. In this case, we can write f dash p is equals to 1. So let us use a diffuse prior for p and this prior is f dash p is equals to 1. So we can show the protein density function. So on the x-axis, we have the parameter and in this case parameter is p that is the proportion of defective pile and on the y-axis we have a basically corresponding protein density function pdf so you see for any proportion the protein is constant in this case protein is one and that is pdf value is one in this case again if i take any proportion corresponding pdf value is one so prior is uniform also called in this case a uh, diffuse prior now we have to find likelihood function and uh, for calculation of posterior distribution so to find the likelihood function we need to get some data and this data is so we have an observation that one pile were inspected and found to be defective so the my question is what is the corresponding likelihood function so in other words we have to find what is the probability of getting one defective pile so you see the defective pile proportion is p so we can say that probability of finding a defective pile is simply p so i can write probability of finding a defective pile is simply p and that is my prior in this case ah sorry this is the likelihood so this is likelihood 
what is the prior in this case simply one because f dash p is equals to one so in this case i can say prior that is f dash p and which is constant so this is one so now what is posterior of p so we have to find posterior distribution of p so if you remember f double dash p the base theorem k times likelihood times prior so we can write the posterior distribution f double dash p is equals to k times likelihood in this case is p and prior is simply one and where k is the normalization constant and that can be written as one divided by integration of this quantity that is p times one and this lies between because p is a uh, fraction so this lies between zero to one so we can integrate this so let's integrate this so if i integrate this term that is p dp 0 to 1 so this will be simply p square by 2 and 0 to 1 so this is 1 by 2 so if i plug this value here we can get normalization constant that is simply 2 so my posterior distribution for p so posterior distribution for p it's simply k times p that is this one that is k is 2 so this is my posterior distribution for p so if you want you can also plot this posterior distribution so on the x-axis we have parameter p on the y-axis we have pdf that is for f double dash p so this will be something like this so this is 2p so you see initially we were having a uh, uniform prior now we have something like this that is a linearly varying posterior distribution for p now let us revise this problem or modify this problem a little bit and so we are doing some more experiment so we are getting some more data so this is another experiment and due to this experiment we have let's say n piles were tested or inspected and out of which r piles were found to be defective so then we have to apply again the base theorem what is likelihood what is prior and what is the uh, posterior distribution so of course the prior distribution in this case uh, that the first case remains same so we assume that the prior distribution is a uniform prior distribution so again the prior distribution that the prior function f dash p is same so there is no change in the prior distribution that was the initial uniform prior distribution so if you remember we assume that the prior distribution for p is uniformly distributed and f dash p is equals to 1 so this was the uniform prior distribution now what will be the likelihood function so this is an important point so we tested n piles and out of which r piles were found to be defective so then we have to use binomial distribution to find the likelihood function so ncr p raised to the power r 1 minus p raised to the power n minus r that is the likelihood function and this is coming from binomial distribution so this is coming from binomial distribution so now we can write corresponding uh, posterior distribution so posterior distribution again f double dash p is equals to k times likelihood function times prior so likelihood function is ncr p raised to the power r 1 minus p raised to the power n minus r and prior is simply 1 and this constant k 
is nothing but 1 divided by integration of ncr p raised to the power r1 minus p raised to the power n minus r times 1. dp also and I have to integrate between 0 to 1. So this is the normalization constant and if we perform this integration we can get this normalization constant. One important uh, po point or one important parameter is expected value of p that is expected value of posterior distribution. So this we discussed in the previous classes. This can be written as simply uh, p double dash hat and this is nothing but p times f double dash p and then I have to integrate between 0 to 1. So this will give me the expected value of the posterior distribution. So p times and this function f double dash p is nothing but k times ncr p raised to the power r 1 minus p raised to the power n minus r and then I have to integrate this between 0 to 1. And this k is a constant so we can take this outside so k is nothing but uh, this function becomes now this whole expression becomes 0 to 1 and this p times ncr p raised to the power r 1 minus p raised to the power of 1, n minus r and dp. Now k is nothing but this is here that is normalization constant so I can plug it so this becomes simply zero to one and this is ncr p raised to the power r plus one one minus p n minus r dp and this divided by normalization constant that is ncr zero to one p raised to the power r one minus p raised to the power n minus r dp now we have to perform this integral as well as this integral. Now to performing this integral, we need to require integration by part and if you do subsequent integration by parts, then you can find the integral. So we are not going to evaluate this integral, but this can be solved by integration by parts. And if you do multiple times, so this require multiple times solving. And if you solve, then finally it will come with this expression r plus 1 divided by n plus 2. So you should try to solve this on your own. So you will see first time you do this integration by part and then you come up with expression. Then you have to do second time integration by parts. And finally you can get the uh, final result that is r plus 1 divided by n plus 2. If I divide this by n, so this becomes 1 plus 2 by n. Now if n is very large, that is I am inspecting a large number of samples. So in that case what we will have this is simply r by n. So if I am inspecting large number of samples the posterior distribution will simply converge to r by n. So this is a uh, uh, expected value of posterior distribution. So this is expected value of p that is our we can say posterior distribution so expected value of f double dash p so to summarize in this lecture we discussed how we can use bayesian method when we have a random variable that is continuous in that case first we have to find my prior then my, I, what is my likelihood and finally we can find a posterior distribution. 
सो वी कैन स्टॉप हेयर